Hello, my name is Pamela Powers Hanley and I'm the social media editor for the American Journal of Medicine. I'm here today with Dr. Joseph Alpert, who is our editor-in-chief, and we're going to talk about an article that's in our current issue. The, this one happens to be about hospitalizations for patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Dr. Alpert, what can you tell us about this research study? This uh, article uh, in this month's issue deals with a very common and increasingly common problem that is patients who present with heart failure, shortness of breath, ankle swelling, fatigue, inability to do normal activities without a lot of disability. Uh, and when we uh, do the studies, the echocardiogram, for example, the ultrasound of the squeeze of the heart, the squeeze of the heart's normal. Usually in heart failure, the squeeze is terrible. So uh, this group turns out to be often elderly, often female, of course, because all, it's the females that are surviving to that age, and with a lot of comorbid conditions, diabetes and lung disease and so forth. Um, turns out they also have a very bad prognosis, and the really bad news is we're not very effective in treating this. We're much more effective at treating the patients who have reduced systolic function, that is reduced squeeze of the left ventricle and heart failure. So what's the take-home message for physicians? Well, the take-home message here uh, is there's a little bit of good news. That is, survival um, and readmission rates to the hospital are down over the last 10 years for this group of patients. Uh, again, the therapy mostly consists of diuresis, that is the use of diuretics to, to get rid of the fluid overload. There's a little bit of hint that maybe uh, drugs uh, uh, like spironolactone and possibly uh, angiotensin receptor blockers may be a little bit of help, but they're nowhere near as helpful as they are in patients who have the reduced um, heart function, heart failure. So uh, we still have a lot of work to do in this area. So thanks for tuning in to the American Journal of Medicine today and watching our YouTube video. We'll hope you check out our website, our blog, and our Facebook page.